so you can kind of mix these up with you can put like various drills and you put lops out mm -hmm. and of course you want that bong to be back up here the lop when it turns it kind of lops and then the pad of my my palm is still there as i'm punching good mm -hmm. and of course as you as you punch you bring that back into the center and bring it down some people they lop sound and they bring it up here but Eddie was always about coming straight in to aiming for the solar plexus. So. Good. And if I pull, if I pull hard, then you just come oh. back. Yeah. You try not to fall. On yeah. Your ass. If, I, if I pull and then hold it, then you just come this way. You lean this way and punch. Okay. So you just turn that way. Okay. See. And then that way, then I just let go, bring that up. Yep. So if you pull with this one and pull it down mm -hmm. really hard, oh. and then you're punching, right? Then what I'm doing is I come across, right? Okay. So. So if I pull down. If you pull down here, then I come this way. And actually, actually what happens is then you let go because from here you pull down, I just turn okay. and then you let go, I bring it up. And the reason why you let go is if you don't let go, mm -hmm. then the, it puts me in a superior position. Okay. So I'm trying to, trying to think of the reasoning like... on that, but so it's basically if I'm pulling here, you're coming this way and you punch. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. And what happens is if I don't let go, I'm in I'm in a position where I'm just going to get hit. Because okay. if I bring that up, then you can bring both of them down, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So anyway, that's the idea behind that. So if you pull here, pull down, I'm actually going to turn this way. And that's right. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, yeah, we were talking, me and uh, Dimitri. We we're talking about in some of the feeding, and I'll show you what what we kind of were discussing with that this last week. But because there's this idea on with pock sow, uh, there's actually a saying in Wing Chun against pocking to the inside. And so what it is is with pock sow, you can pock on the outside of the arm because then they can't hit you really with the other one, right? But if you're here and you pock on this side, they can hit you here. So the only Way, the only reason that we pock on the inside is if we're already on top of this arm or if they grab this arm and this one comes, sometimes we can pock even though they've grabbed onto this arm. Mm -hmm. Or like in a double sticky situation where we go over the top of this arm, then we can pock that one because we're trapping this one. But other than that, we don't pock on the inside because he was talking about how I do this and if you pock it away, I can hit you here, right? Mm -hmm. So it's almost better for you just to go tonsil and punch here because then I can't hit you, right? So that was one of the things that we were talking about with feeding. But anyway, let's do a little more wopsal. Good. Let's go back to feeding again. Mm -hmm. 